Hey fighting game fans, what is up? It is I, FGF Chris. And we're gonna be checking out character creation in Soul Calibur 6. Basically turns all the players of this game into artists. It's pretty awesome. You basically could create your own character, upload it online to the network and share with everyone else online. And you could battle with the character that you created, that you edited in uh, the online modes and also Libra of Soul as well. And it's pretty awesome. Like there's a lot of artistic work that goes into making characters look really cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a few of the ones that I created and then we're gonna go onto the network and see what other people created worldwide and we're gonna rate a few of them from one to 10. One being shitty, 10 being awesome. So let's do it. So the first character I'm gonna show is me, based off of me, because I'm an egotistical maniac. <laughs> um, yeah, he looks a lot ha handsomer in the game than he does in real life. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be me, Ketchum. That's my last name, don't wear it out. And yeah, it looks pretty cool, he looks pretty badass. He's got the whole steampunk thing going on with the monocle. One fashion sense I love is like the steampunk fashion and cyberpunk. It's cool stuff. But yep, that's me. Next up is Solia, who is an anime character from Fatal Fury the Motion Picture, an anime that came out in 1995. And um, it's the character's name is Solia, and she is supposed to be Terry Bogard's girlfriend in the anime movie. So here's what she looks like. Pretty awesome. I got her down pretty spot on with how she looks in anime. She even has that pendant too, which is kind of cool. Yep, there's Sulia. Sulia Godimus. Gave her yellow eyes too because of the whole anime thing. And then finally, I'll show you a character I just made recently who is basically Sung Mina, but really spruced up. Um, I call her the ragged, post-apocalyptic, steampunk Sung Mina. So let's take a look at her. Yeah, I spent a little bit of time on this one. You can edit, like, patterns, colors, everything to make it look really cool on top of the equipment you give the characters as well. It's pretty far out, right? It's got the steampunk goggles. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I did a lot of a lot of work on her. I'm pretty proud of that. All right, so now we'll check out the network and do the critique a character. That's the name of the episode. Critique the character. Well, let's do it. All right, who's first up? Oh, it's Mikasa. Okay. I think she's from Attack on Titan, which is an anime series that I'm not super wild about, but, you know, people like it. She has two big-ass guns there. Shit. It's like hand cannons. Holy crap. I give it a... I give it a 7.5 out of 10. Just because I would have gave it a higher rating if I did like Attack on Titan, but I don't, sadly. Alright, who's next? Asian Joel. Okay. Eh. It doesn't seem like much work went into this one. It's like, it has like a samurai helmet on and some sticker on his front. I don't know. I give it a 6 out of 10. Cursed... The Curse of Spawn. Okay. That's kind of cool, actually. Shit. He added a lot of equipment features to him. And he fights in the Zazlamel style. That's kind of cool. Ah, yeah, that's... That's alright. That's not bad. I give it an 8 out of 10. That's pretty creative. Hanita. Hinata. Okay. Ah! That is so generic. Her boobs are really big. 
Now she's probably based, I'm guessing she's based off of the Bleach character. Not Bleach, um, Naruto. She looks like a Naruto character. I could be totally wrong, but whatever. Um, nothing special about her. I give her a 5 out of 10. It's kind of like meh, you know? Sophitia. Oh wow, check that out. It's like, it's like a Disney princess version of her. It's like Cinderella or Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> I'll take you to the dance tonight. She has like a big huge rack with like our armor on it. That's interesting. I give it a 7 out of 10. Why not? It's good. Siegfried, okay. And eh, nothing special about this guy. I don't know. He looks like Siegfried always does. He just has more armor on. I give it a 5 out of 10. Lacking creative points. Lizard Wizard. <laughs> Lizard Wizard. Okay, I have to admit, that is pretty... It's a little generic, but the colors are beautiful on it. Like, the the yellow and the gold and the orange really fit it really well. So I give it a 7.5 out of 10. That's pretty good. That's not bad at all. Kathy. Oh, it's Kathy. Hey, Kathy. How are you? Looks like a robot. It's like no personality. Has hearts on her head. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this chick. Ah, eh, 6 out of 10. Another Sofitia. Okay. Wow, this one is, uh... This one's more like Snow White with, like, blonde hair. Eh, 6.5 out of 10. Anira, okay. Anira. Yeah, she looks like a devil chick. Nothing special about her. Character's a little lacking. I don't know. 6.5 out of 10. Alright. Lenny. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. I have to give him creative points for this. Holy shit. <laughs> He's like a cube on his freaking head. That's hilarious. Alright, I, I, just because it's funny, I'll give it like a 7.5. That's pretty good. That gave me a good chuckle. Alright, next. Whatever that word is. Thymomer... Thymomerous. Okay. Looks like a demon. It's a skull head. It's like no neck or nothing. Holy crap. Yeah, that's pretty heavy metal. I have to give him props on that. Easy peasy, 8 out of 10. That is cool. Love the symbol on the jacket, the cape too. Alright. Thymomerous. <laughs> I'm like reading it like a stoner. All right, next. Yeah, that was an eight out of 10. Ninja Slayer. Oh. Looks like Noob Cybot with Santa's armor. It looks like Santa Claus crossed with Noob Cybot. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. I give it a 7.5. Yeah, that's fair. This is Eyes of Death. Simon! Hey look, it's Simon. He looks like a robot. He looks like a medieval robot. That's kind of cool. Pretty generic though. I give it a, I give it a 7 out of 10. Maybe a 6.5. Jin. Oh! Okay, if you guys don't... If you're a fighting game fan you don't know who this character is supposed to be, then get the fuck out of here. This is Jin Kazuma from Tekken. Devil Jin. Devil Jean. It's not really creative, but I like the style, so I'll give it a 
That's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. Next. So, oh my god. <laughs> oh, jeez. This really reminds me of um, Money Python and the Holy Grail. Like one of the generic knights in it. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it. I I'll give it a 6.5. It's funny. Kakashi. Kakashi, oh, okay. This is definitely from Naruto. A bunch of stupid Naruto kids making these costumes. Nothing too special about him. I'd probably give it, give it a six. Six out of 10. Raphael. Oh, wow. It's supposed to be Go, Grow Raphael, basically. Eh. Uh, that's cool. Whatever. 7 out of 10. It's cool. Whatever. Aiden. Oh, whoa. Look at this. He has wings and shit. Hey, he's kind of cool. Give him a 7 out of 10. Why not? Pretty decent. Jin Kiss. Okay, this is supposed to be a character based off of someone from Guilty Gear, Sin Kisk, who's supposed to be Kai Kisk's son in Guilty Gear. Looks pretty spot on. Kind of missing the necklace, though. I give it an uh, 8 out of 10. That's cool. El Fabuloso. <laughs> <laughs> El Fabuloso. I love it. Oh my god. The name the name makes it, man. The name makes it. This guy is fabulous. Holy shit. He is fab to the max. He's even got a monocle because he's a classy dude. I give it an 8 out of 10. That's fun. 8 out of 10 totally. Airline Elf. <laughs> okay, I can see that. It's supposed to be like a uh, stewardess on an airline, on an airplane, and it's an elf. Eh, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. That's pretty clever. Kala. Kia. Oh, whoa! Whoa, hubba hubba ding ding! Sign me up for this shit. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's not really, there's not much work that went into this, but I could definitely see the the color scheme and the outfit, like the choice of equipment is really well done. It could have used a little bit more patterns, but it looks pretty spot on, pretty good stuff. I give it a, I give it a nine out of 10. That's the hottest chick so far. Next. Vexera. Oh, talk about spooky chick. Shit, alright. That's pretty cool. I like it. I give it an 8 out of 10. That's pretty awesome. It's got the chains and everything. Gazelle. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. It's like Sock the Hedgehog fucked the Joker. Jeez. <laughs> Wow. For creative for creativity, I give it a I give it a 7.5 8 out of 10. Somewhere around there. It's pretty good. Jester, okay. Yeah. I don't like the design, but maybe I'm being a little bit biased, but I, I don't know. Clowns and me don't work well together. I give it a 5 out of 10. Whatever. No, I don't want to download it. Get off me. Alright. Minerva. Okay. Eh, it's kind of cute. A little bit too pink for my taste. But it looks good. Yeah, I give it an 8 out of 10. That's pretty solid. Minerva. It's got the eye patch. It's gold armor. Neat. Nephine. 
Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I give it a 7.5. It's pretty cute. I mean, yeah. Very blue. <laughs> Ute, Ute, okay. Wow, holy fuck. Holy fuck, wow. Words can't describe what I'm seeing. It's wearing like a bikini and it has wings on her head. Odd enough, that's pretty damn creative. 8.5 out of 10, hands down. No, we're not downloading it. Toki. Hey, he's a small, a little small guy, Toki. He's a little guy. Just tap him on his head. Eh, it's very generic, very nothing's going on there. I give it a 3 out of 10. It's garbage. Talim. Oh my god. <laughs> Wow. Wow. <laughs> Shit. Imagine waking up from a nice sleep and you see this at your bedside. That would suck. My god. <laughs> Alright, next. I'm gonna give it a six out seven out of ten. Why not? Oh, that's kinda cool. And no rin. No rin. No reen. Oh, that's awesome. I like it. It's pretty, pretty artsy, man. Totally. Wow. I like the fire effects. I give it an 8.5 out of 10. That's pretty good. Hayate. Oh, it's Hayate from Dead or Alive. Look at that. Because based on a character, I give it a 7.5. It's cool. Nothing special, but, you know, it's Hayate. If you like Dead or Alive, you'll like Hayate. Luna. Oh my god. Wow, she has, like, script writing on her. That's pretty neat. I dig it. Give it an 8 out of 10, hands down. It's pretty cool. Vamp. Oh, whoa. Hubba ding ding. She has a mask on, like a masquerade mask. It's kind of neat. I give it a 7.5 out of 10. Sigurd. Sigurd. Oh wow, that's kind of neat. Very blue. He almost looks like Lee Chalon in a way. <laughs> From Tekken. Like, he looks a little bit like Violet did in the game. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Sign me up for that shit. Next. Saber. Okay. That's kind of cool. Fights in the style of Mitsurugi. Eh, 7 out of 10. Toby. Ah, eh, Toby doesn't have much going for him. Toby, you're very generic. You get a 3 out of 10. Alright. Raku-chan. <laughs> it's a big giant, like, freaking scallop on his head. Clamshell. <laughs> I give it a, I give it a 2 out of 10. It's fucking gross. It's gross. Very creative, but garbagey. I did not want to fight that. I, I'd be worried that, like, my fists would, like, be covered in slime if I punched it. Suranui, okay. He looks like like the Shredder from Ninja Turtles. Totally has a Shredder vibe. He just needs more spikes on his arms. <laughs> That's kind of cool though. You know, I really like this design. I'll give it a um, give it an eight out of ten. It's pretty cool.
Anethyst. Oh wow, that's neat. That's creepy. Look at her glowing eyes. Oh my god. It's like staring death in the face. There's a star on her back too. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I give it an 8 out of 10. It's good. It's a good design. Tenshi. Oh my god. Wow. This guy's flamboyant as hell. I give him an 8 out of 10. That's pretty classy. I like I like the use of colors on him. I always love seeing orange, like a dark orange like that. And on top of that steel, like silver color, that really works. Next. Xander Goff. Oh my god. Holy crap. It's like the Dark Lord here. Holy shit. Yeah, I, I give this an 8.5 out of 10. This is, this is cool. This is really cool. Love it. Aphrodite. Okay, Aphrodite. Yeah, she looks like a Greek goddess. Why not? Huh. That's pretty cool. It's a little bit, like, underdeveloped, but it's, it's a 7.5. It's pretty good. Demos. Demos. Holy, oh, oh, holy Ramos! <laughs> yeah, he looks pretty evil. Eh, I give him a 7 out of 10. I've seen better. Kagero. Oh, look at this chick. And she's pretty busty. Look at her boobs. Oh my god. Freaking My Sure Nui boobs. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I don't know, a little bit on the doll side. I, I give it a 7 out of 10. Who is this? Ha. <laughs> okay. This guy. This guy right here. Hands down. 1 out of 10. The is shit. He looks like garbage. Screw that. Rulia. Rukia. Rukia. She is from Bleach, Miss Rukia. She's supposed to be like a, um, out of demon killer or some shit. I haven't watched that show. Not my thing. Eh, it's kind of generic. I give it a 5 out of 10. Whatever. Harley Q. Oh, it's Harley Quinn from the Joker fame. Okay. Eh, I've seen better Harley Quinns. I give it a 4 out of 10. Get out of there. Sephiroth. Now that's pretty cool. That looks like Sephiroth. Except he has wilder hair in this version than he does in Final Fantasy VII. Oh man, that's cool. He looks really heavy metal. I give it a solid 8.5 out of 10. That is really good. Alright, who's next? Z Tun Sun. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of cute. I like the sparkly, like, boob holders. That's kind of neat. Very shiny. Yeah, she looks pretty cool. I, I give her a 7.5 out of 10. She's alright in my book. Alright. Songmina. Oh, that I created. Look at that. I, I literally uploaded her like a few hours ago. Actually, about an hour ago. <laughs> so yeah, that's my girl right there. Songmina. Check it out. I give that a 10 out of 10, because it's my creation. Ha 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 ha. That's cool. Woohoo! Alright, next. Pearl. Uh, she looks like a frickin' like, like, deadite. She looks like she has no soul, like, either like a robot or a vampire. I give it a 7.5 out of 10. It's pretty good. 
Moonier. <laughs> okay, that's pretty stupid. It's it's kind of it kind of works. I don't know. It's interesting. It's like BoJack Horseman. <laughs> I give it a solid uh, five out of ten. Why not? Next, Papaneer. It's a Papaneer. Eh, there's not much going for him. I give him a five out of ten. <laughs> Get out of there, Shoto. <laughs> It looks like Captain America, kinda. That's pretty far out. Not really that stylish, but whatever. I give it a 6 out of 10. Oh wow, look at this guy. Mr. Devil himself. That's pretty, pretty snazzy, really. Ah, give it a 7.2 out of 10. Why not? Oh, this guy. <laughs> yeah, we already saw him. Let's go to the next one. Oh, it's Gamora from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. That's kind of neat. Huh. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's not bad, really. I give it a 7.5 out of 10. Why not? Alan B. <laughs> Alien B. Okay, I thought it said Alan. <laughs> Alien B. Okay. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, that's uh, looks like a alien exoskeleton or some shit from one of those xenomorphs from the Alien movies. I give it a two out of ten. It's fucking stupid. Oh wow, this guy's stupid too. He gets a two out of ten as well. Oh my god, Stanley. <laughs> really? Ugh, I give it a 1 out of 10. No artistic talent whatsoever to create that. Nope, garbage. Samu. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. <laughs> that is creative as all hell, and I definitely... I definitely give it a 9 out of 10. That is really creative. Holy shit. That is art right there, man. That is art in its essence. Next. Muhammad. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Show this to like <laughs> too many um, people in Afghanistan might not like this. I don't know. I can't really speak for them, so I don't know. But it's really goofy. <laughs> because it's mildly offensive, I'll give it a 4 out of 10. King Cruel. Oh yeah, it's King Cruel from Donkey, Donkey Kong Country. Eh, I give it a... Eh, give it a 6 out of 10. Cloud. Hey, it's Cloud, but it doesn't look anything like him. I give it a 2 out of 10. It does not look like Cloud to me. It does not look like Final Fantasy VII's Cloud. It's... meh. If you're going to make a character based on a, an, an existing character, at least make them look like it. Oh, that's kind of cool, Lucy. Nothing really special with this one. It's almost like the person just threw on a dress and gave it look, make it look like Talum. And that's about it. I give it a 2 out of 10. Not creative at all. Whoa, Fem Guts. Supposed to be the female version of Guts from Berserker. Now that's kind of cool. I like it. That's pretty handy right there. She looks pretty badass like uh, Guts does. And berserk. Yeah, I dig it. I give it an 8 out of 10. Big boobs. Love it. Mass DDD. 
It's DDD from um, Kirby, but has a mask on. Eh, I give it a 6 out of 10. That's kind of goofy. I don't know. Zephyria. <laughs> Ooh, this, this is hot. Alright. Wow. Has, like, some Mina's attire, like, um, like, like, uh, undergarments. But, um, very leopardy. Leopardy version of Sung Mina's armor undergarments. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Next. Oh, yeah, I give that a 6 out of 10. Mordred. Mordred. That's kind of cool. I dig it. I give it a 7.5. Why not? It's a fair, fair score. Thinly. Ah, I give it a 6 out of 10. Why not? Chie. It's Chie from um, Persona 4, I believe. One of the characters from Persona 4. Yeah, she looks alright. She's kind of a bland character in Persona, so she looks a little bland here, so i just give it a 7 out of 10. Card Divers. Oh wow. That's kinda cool. Looks like, um... Kinda reminds me of... Captain Marvel, in a way. i give it a 7 out of 10. Archdemon. Oh wow, look at that. It's pretty heavy metal. I give it a 7. No, an 8 out of 10. It's pretty cool. A soggy. Oh wow, that's kind of neat. It's like a variation of Taki. Ah, 6 out of 10. Well anyway, that's a look at some of the characters that the network has thrown at us. I hope you guys enjoyed. You guys take care. Peace out.